pretty hard to explain to somebody what Jean-Pierre Kramer does, but simply put, he is the largest automotive YouTube personality in Germany, maybe in all of Europe. He has a burger restaurant with a dyno inside the restaurant. So you can eat a burger while you're watching him dyno his cars, which is across the street from his full-fledged race shop, which is just three minutes down the road from his car museum. It is absolutely insane. And I actually met up with him recently when I went to Germany. So this is what I feel like people would expect, right? They we already to, started? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They come <laughs> to JP Performance and then JP is just standing out here. Waiting, just, saying everybody hello. Yeah, yeah, waiting to greet your fans. And waiting, waiting to greet, to greet everybody. You. Yeah, exactly. Hello. Yeah, so it's actually been a while since I've been here. So the last time I was here was in 2018 and I was so blown away. Really? At what you've accomplished and what you've created. Thank you. It's incredible. And now I know you've done so many more things, mm -hmm. including you have a museum now. Yeah, it's very big. And you have a racetrack. Yes. You want to go there today? Yeah, right. Do you even have to ask me? Of course I want to go. Okay, okay. Yeah. So then, then we really, really got it. How, how long are your other videos? My videos can be as long as you need them to be, you know, because- Don't say that. I, I just want to show the US audience what JP Performance is about. Like, we got Iron Man here. Yeah. You know, I want to change his color. I really want to change his color. To green? No, to silver. Oh. Silver, so like, like Iron Patriot. Okay, okay. So, because it's, it's nearly the same body, so I got to do this the next weeks. So you I'll know, paint them new. You know, all of this stuff is nice. All your three black cars matching and all the wheels. My favorite part about this area is your bathroom. The thing that really I took away from my last visit yeah. here was that you've thought of everything. Like you just, I don't know where you think of these things. Like this is just so ridiculous. Like, it's, it's different, it's different. And the original thing was, there were two. Yeah. And it was water coming out of the hot air side, the hot water and the cold water, the cold air side. But the rust was too much that we had to change them down here because too much rust was dropping down. I'm surprised you didn't get like a, a aluminum exhaust side. No, 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 made, no, no, no. Like a custom. No, no, no. <laughs> You were telling me some of the things that you were gonna do last time, yeah. and you've executed them. Yeah, always. So what is this area? This is the shop area? Yeah, this is the, this is the workshop area. Uh -huh. And we're still doing two to three cars a day for customers, but mainly I gotta say we are a YouTube production company nearly, because we're doing every day a video, so we need, we got, I got now 81 cars. You're 19 away from 100. Exactly which I'm sure you will hit this year. No, because I can t say 81, because we bought 25 cars for the future already. So they don't know them. All the parts for the cars are existing. The cars are existing and they're in storage. But the people are really trying to catch me okay. so much that I can't drive them on the street wait, in wait, Germany. Wait, 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 wait. So then is this a public knowledge to your audience? Do they know you have this? They know the cars? number, but they don't know the cars. This is the thing that is blowing me away right now. In the US, you know, we have so many YouTubers, car YouTubers, including myself. When we do a project car, it's like, oh, this is the car that we got. This is what we're going to build. The fact that you have 25 uh, yeah. already lined up. Yeah, including parts. And I'm really a car guy. I work on cars every day still. And like today I got my, not the pants, but I got my clean clothes on because I thought Larry Chan's coming. I can't look too f***ed up. <laughs> Do you sell the cars then when you're done with them? Very, very rare. Because when I sell them in Germany, he gets right away all the attention of this car because these cars are very famous. For example, I just posted this car on, on Instagram and it has a quarter million likes. Mm -hmm. So if I sell this car, he has this car. Not for the car, because it was my car. So it's very, I would sell this car probably. So very new cars, that's fine. But cars that have a certain 
heritage behind it with the company, it's very difficult to sell for me. Right, because you also grow attached to them. Absolutely. Right. And we are in the lucky position that we don't have to sell them. But it's, a, it's becoming a problem of room, of space. It yeah. really becomes a problem. That's, that's a good problem to have, honestly. <laughs> what is this? It used to be a, a diesel Golf 7, uh -huh. but not anymore. So now it is actually pretty interesting. What the hell? That's a GT47. For example, for Germans, the typical 2JZ or RB26 is the R32 engine from the Golf. So it's a 3.2 liter engine. It makes around 1,400 HP. And then you, you, when you build something like this, mm -hmm. You can't drive it on the street, you only no. drive it at your racetrack. Exactly. You would go to jail for this. Right. But if you take this out of country, potentially, then you could yeah. drive it. Yeah. I mean, this is still very extreme. Right. <laughs> I don't know. This, look, look, this yeah, is, yeah, right, right. This right. is insane. Because we had so many, I, I do all this engineering myself, and this was the most embarrassing thing on YouTube that I ever did, because we did this car, and I wanted to do an inline engine, what the Golf is not made for. The problem uh, was the steering. The car was not turning. Mm. So you're building this project car, the car's not turning. So I was so pissed that I cut off the front of the car and made a tube frame from an Audi A4. So this is all Audi A4 B6, everything, to make it work and attached it to the Golf 7 body. Got it. And to make that perfect, we also long up the wheelbase a little bit so that it matches from the diangle for, to, the, to the A4. Right, so that's why this fits better than on the original body kit. Got it. <laughs> this is crazy. But you could push what in the rear. <laughs> yeah. was, was that for a space issue? Because there wasn't enough um, space? It, the car is called Super Golf. Uh -huh. So it's like a supercar, but it's a Yeah, we, we wanted to show everything that we really can build. But it, it, we, also our knowledge really goes on. So exhaust goes through the car, yeah. What the hell? Yeah. That is crazy. Wait, what? <laughs> How does it not get hot in there? Absolutely not. You can touch it while it's running. Because it's that, that yeah, insulated. Yeah. You can't touch so these. You can't touch these. Right. But you can touch this easy. Easy. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That boost gauge is crazy. Yeah, it's running 3.2 bar. Amazing. Yeah. I yeah. love it. I love it. <laughs>
And it was, it was, it looks easy, but it was actually some work to, to make that happen without the damaging it to get it straight up to the roof. You can see the, the, the structure that we built for yeah. it on top. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. I mean, because you were thinking when you're doing this, you have to think about the wheels. Yeah. set up, yeah, you have to yeah, think yeah. about the fitment still, you know, you still yeah. want the car to look good. Absolutely. Even though... So the suspension is out and we welded everything in parts. See that? In position. Oh my god. That mm -hmm. is so cool. I love it. And also, you have a real license plate there. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Has to be legal. Yeah. Amazing. And then on top of that, over here, you have a very historic piece. Yeah, One that's of true. Ken's, uh, or was that Andreas? Yeah, that was oh, Andreas. That's Andreas' bumper. It's just the decor is unlike any other restaurant. The I've reason why in. I do this, because we are opening now and in, in, there are people standing in line. The line is sometimes around 150 meters long. So when they're standing in line, when they come inside and they wait, I don't have to explain that, men automatically start to try to recognize what hood that is. Ah. So these standing, you see them standing here like this. No, no, no. Yeah. No, I know what this is. And this, this, this is what I want. That they. It's like a game. You're giving like a game. them a game. It's like a game, right? Got it. So then you have actually a kind of a rotating uh, project cars coming always, through here. Always. Always. Because last time we were here, it was all different cars. I don't yeah, recognize yeah. one car from last no, time. No, no, no. I mean, with the amount of cars that we have, it's easy to do that. If this car is not on display and this one, they're a little pissed. So these two have to be somewhere here. The other ones can change, but these two are very, very, very... Right, this is just so crazy. The Thunder Bunny, I mean, yeah. This is the wildest Golf I've ever seen. Or, or, I mean, the engine in the rear, yeah. and, and VR6 and everything together. It's just so... The fitment is insane. Thank you. When was the last time you actually drove this? Oh, this one is a year ago, maybe, yeah, mm. this one. You have too many, you have 81 cars. Yeah, I know, that's the problem. <laughs> but I think one of the most important cars is this one. It's my first car. Yeah, the yeah. The, car. Uh, it's my um, first car. the guys were telling me that this is like a replica it is. of your. But the original very license car. plate, the original license plate, though, it's a real replica, real. Everything is the same. And always when I do bad business decisions, I say to myself, I have to drive this car for a week, not for a bad reason. But I tell you what, if you drive this car first day funny, second day funny, third day okay, on the seventh day, you still think, that's a slow ass small car. <laughs> I mean, this is, this has gotta be fun to drive, right? It's still manual. Look yeah, absolutely, absolutely. The Fox. I love this. So it's cool to see your humble roots. You know, 100%. this is where it came from, the, the, the love for car culture. When I had this car, because I drew, grew up without parents, and I grew up literally no money. I mean, no money. At the point where I was able to buy this car, I thought I was the richest guy in the world, and I'm the luckiest, happiest guy in the world when I had this car. Yeah, I mean, you started from nothing, but you drive this, you feel like a million bucks. Yeah, uh, more of that. Yeah, that is amazing. That's incredible. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So uh, what now? Should we check out your museum or your yeah. shop? Or yeah. There's just so many, or no, your racetrack. First that? I don't know. What, what, no, first, first museum. First museum. Yeah, okay. let's go. All right, let's go. Those let's zombies, go. look, they're about to break in. <laughs> we, take the, we take the G class. Okay. You will All like right. the interior on that. Here we go. Oh, back up, guys. Back yeah. up, everybody. <laughs> Morgan. Morning. Morning. Let's go. That's good. Ich glaube, ach so, ja, yeah, bitte, 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 bitte. <lacht> Viel Spaß. Okay. Guten Hunger. Danke, danke. Hi. Hi. Hallo. Viel Spaß. Ja, danke sehr. All right, okay. gonna get in. Kann man nicht Spaß haben. Das ist, was die Leute erwarten, wie ich gesagt habe. Ich bin sicher, es ist eine schöne Novelty, aber es ist, als wenn sie zum Shop kommen, sie erwarten dich nicht. Nein, 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 nein. Für sie ist es. For, for kids like, like this, mm -hmm. because I, I explained them my story, um, this is also very emotional always for me, because there are many kids who grow up like me, and I explained them how it was and how it is, and they can relate, and then they uh, think, maybe I can do this too. 
And this is so important for me that I show them I'm, I'm not an asshole, I'm still a normal guy. And um, you can be kind of successful. And so I think for these young men especially, JP performance became way more than a car guy. I mean, by far more than a car guy. It really is an inspiration, you know? I mean, to, to be able to do what you love, to be able to spread the word of car culture, you know, you, I'm sure you agree with me now that right now, car culture is the biggest it's ever been in the history of the world. You know, in the history of cars. Right now, car culture is the biggest. Germany, Germany's how, fighting. Really, I mean, <laughs> but it is so accessible though, right? Uh, I, I understand when you say Germany is fighting, but the fact that these kids can watch your videos, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, and uh, my videos and Hoonigans, and all, this, all that, kind it, of videos. It just that stuff didn't exist when we were growing no, up. No, no, you know, no, that's true. And then now, after From that all this point, time, you're right. yeah, you're after all this time, right. guess what we're doing? We're making what we wanted to watch when we were little. You know. That's a good point. What you're saying, I never, I, I, I thought about it, but the way you say it now, it very, it's very clear. You're very right. When I was a kid, a, a, a brochure or this, this, this little things that you get from a dealer, they were life to me. Oh, tell me about it. When I was a boy, there was a Toyota dealer, and it took me one hour, ten minutes to go there by train to just check out the Super MK4, and I did it a few times. And I never ever touched the car until the, the salesman asked me, you want to sit in the car? And Larry, I was like, yeah. And he opened the door, I, I remember that. And he opened, it wasn't automatic though. And <laughs> a red one with the beige interior. And he opened the door and I sat in the car and I was like, Whoa. crazy. So That's then crazy. after all these years, once you were able to get your first Mark IV, uh, did well, it? Well, it's not so long ago. I got my Mark IV four years ago. Uh-huh, and then, like, did it kind of bring back a little bit of that emotion? 100%. When we made the video, we drove to that dealer. Really? Mm-hmm. It's in Dortmund, yeah. Yeah, okay. To, to, to explain to you, I was, I was a no-money kid. I was not the, the, the small car kid. I, when I was 16, 15, 14, 12, 10, no parents, no money kid. That's crazy. You had a really tough childhood then. Yes. Oh, huh, that is insane. And, and the museum have, here. Have you told people about this stuff? Like, have yes, you talked about this stuff? I did, yeah. Again, these people are here to, to check out the museum. They're like, oh yeah, of course JP's gonna show up and just kind of <laughs> give everybody a tour, right? A private tour. <laughs> Not really though. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm excited because it's such an honor uh, for you to actually reach out to me a couple years ago when you were building this place to include some of my pictures in this museum. You will see a lot of your pictures here. <sighs> That's so cool. That really makes me feel good. Just because uh, us as people, we just don't last that long on Earth. You know, we, we don't live that long. Mm -mm. But for me to take all these pictures, millions of pictures, and you to make all this media uh, and all of this content, that stuff will live a lot longer than we That's will true. be around, you know? And that means so much to me. And, and for it to be uh, immortalized. This museum, this museum will probably be there longer than me. Yeah, so that, that's, that's what makes it special for me. Let's go inside. Yeah, let's check it out. So where, where are we exactly? We're in Dortmund still. It's, uh, we're in Dortmund, and this is the, the most popular property in this town. And a guy like me with a cappy got this property, this building, because there's, that's, that's the highway that goes through our area, okay? There's 100,000 cars per line per day, and one traffic light, and that's a traffic light. So you can imagine how valuable this is, yeah. So then, are you, thinking that you would probably open up another restaurant here or something like that? It's, it, it's a cinema. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check okay. it out. I don't know. This is my first time. I'm excited. Okay, let's go. see this. So why is it called the Pace Automobile Museum? Performance and car education. That's what it's about. Got it. Because when you go into the museum, you, take, you get a tablet, 
and I go with you to the museum because the people wanted that so much. When you in the, you, you feel it. When we go upstairs, the people don't look at me because they got me in this tablet, and I talk with them around every car. This is the car, this is when I first met you. This is the you Pikes were driving Peak, this. exactly, on Pikes Peak uh, against the S1. Yeah, because you were driving this around LA. Exactly. And that's the first time I met you, all those yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah. And now the car is here, front and center in your lobby. It's probably the most emotional video that we ever did. The race up the, into the clouds against the, against the Audi S1. I remember, it, it's just, it just has so much power. Yeah. The electric turbo is really Ridiculous. aggressive. I just wish that this was a thing that existed, yeah. something you could buy, it, you know? Audi asked me if I would like to do it, but for us as a company, it's not possible to do that kind of effort into each car. Yeah. Because everything exists, the molds, everything is there to, to make that. Right. Yeah. Huh. So. All right, let's, let's take the tour, but the real yeah. tour. The real tour. No, no tablet. <laughs> The fact that there's a RB26 just in the store, I love it. I love it so much. This is just so cool. What a cool museum. Seriously, this is all genuine, 100%, because this is my very first time checking this place out. Okay, let's go, like, because it's so much. All right, let's go. Hello. Yeah. So what is this area? This is this, hi. This is this area where we um, have my cars also storage because we got a little space problem in the moment. But this will be later on something else, but I can't tell you in the camera right now. Okay, But this got will be it. also pretty cool. So these are some of your personal projects. Yeah, that's the RWB, R32, the Raptor. This is original GT2 Club Sport. Some of your pictures will go here. Okay. Oh. They're in the making, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Looking forward to that. If you need any more, just let me know. <laughs> I will. Oh, and this is a car elevator. It is, yeah. This is cool because this is how you get the cars up and down. Yeah, right, the floors. right. And then you have a little cafe here. It's the car fake. Car fake. Ah, right. I get and it. Many Americans said it's the best Cinnabon that they ever had. Fancy. I got to try it. Hey, you will. Yeah, I will. You will. Amazing. OK, let's go upstairs. OK. What's this, burned out? Yeah, that's from a friend of mine. He built this project car for around five years. And it was an Audi S4, an RS4 body. Ouch. And on the test drive, it burns completely down. Wow, that's what's left of it, huh? Yeah. That's terrible. Oh my God. Yeah, go in Are you serious? Yo. Whoa, that's my picture! That's right. What the heck? That is amazing. <laughs> I'm so blown away, you know, because <laughs> I shot this just because we were launching Canon's new camera. It was the 1DX Mark III, and I said to myself, we only have this camera for a week. I called my friends in Las Vegas. That's my car there. My friend's driving my car, and I'm like, let's get a bunch of JDM cars together drive around Las Vegas, and I got this shot. That is just so cool. <laughs> I just can't believe it. Like, a real car culture moment. It was, yeah. All the way in Germany. I just, I can't believe it. That's so cool. <laughs> Amazing. I'm so happy to be able to contribute. And over here, too. Yeah. A shot that I got in, at Gridlife. He would be so happy to know that this picture exists. He will know. That is just so cool. And you have some serious historic cars here. Wait, that, wait until we go upstairs. I mean, because part of it is that these cars really speak to me in that, oh my God, you have the IDR here? Yeah, original. 
That's the actual winning one? Yeah. Of course you do. Yeah. <laughs> of course you do. Wait, wait, wait until upstairs. <laughs> this, is, this is only to get in the mood. And that too, I took that yeah, yeah. I love Laguna Seca. I love this picture, a lot. You know, it's one thing for me to be here um, because I've, of course I have a personal connection with you. Uh, the fact that my, I'm part of this gallery without even really understanding it. But the fact that I have personal stories with most of these cars, it, it just blows me away. I mean, this was such a big deal for me. As you know, Pike Speak is such yeah. a big part of what we do. This was also the first time that I had a chance to work with Volkswagen directly. Mm -hmm. And also, it was so insane for me to witness history what, yeah. in person, potentially something that will never be undone, you know? It, and I can go on with this. So yeah. also when you see the videos in the museum, all these drivers, or race drivers are all my friends. So you, I just stop in the video and say, you know what, let's ask him. And then you get a WhatsApp message where he really talks easy, not this, not this industry, no, 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 no. Yeah. So they really talk easy. Wait, you mean Romain actually? No, no, no not on this one, but, but okay. many. Got you know, it. The museum changed all the time. Right, right, you know right, that, right, right, right. Got it. So then it's something that you curate all the time. It's something that you have but to work every on. Change, everything changes. It's not that one car changes. God. So after six months, everything goes out and everything goes back in. So all the videos have to be remade. And that's by design because you want people to keep coming back every six months. I want them when they come and they, when they spend the 14 euros entrance, that I want that when they come back, that, they, that everything is new. Don't they say, I have seen this and I have seen this, but I didn't see this. No, so it has to be everything. I ha I've had so many models of this as yeah. a kid, you know? Everybody. I can't believe this is the real one. Yeah, you, you didn't know this? What is that? Oh, what the? Yeah. I had no idea. Me too. Huh. I, I, I put it inside and I, I displayed it because I do everything myself, it's important for me. And when I saw this, I was so, what? And, you know, and then we took the hood off and you know, I said, you know what? We keep the hood off on yeah. this model because it's so... It's so ridiculous. This is, this is the one that I had the RC car of, yeah. you know, as a kid. Tamiya. Yeah, yeah and, I I, and I just never ever would have thought I would actually see it in real life. This is ridiculous. I, I, again, you know what we were talking about earlier is us making uh, videos of what we would have liked as a kid. Now what you're doing is you're making a museum of what you would have enjoyed as a kid. Yeah, you ready? <laughs> ready? I already see some crazy things. No way. No way. This is the original. I can count on my hand how many I've seen him. Yeah, I know. Like Jay's, I've seen like the long tail. But Jay's one. is a street car, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you... I've only seen two race cars. Yeah, so. One at Spa and this is the other one. No way. This is crazy. I can't believe you have this here. Wait until you see the rest. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> Why would you even want to switch these out? Every six months, you because know, because car culture is so big. Yeah. And there's so many things. McLaren F1 GTR. The iconic livery is just so cool. I just, just the engine. I'm so blown away. Amazing. I hope people understand how special this is when they come here. Like I, I'm so blown away. Unbelievable. I'm happy that you enjoy it so much. Unbelievable. To be able to see this in person. Thank you so much for not putting stanchions up. Yeah. You know, because I hate when you Take go to Take out your museum, phone, you will see what I did with the lights. Come here. Yeah. Incredible. It's hard not to take a good picture in here. It's nearly impossible. See? Everything is so clean. Made Everything is white. See? But... That is so crazy. This is probably the most important car and the most extreme car. This one. This is the car why I started tuning. Because this is from Mr. Dahlbeck and he, he uh, passed away not too long ago. When internet videos started, he was the first guy with, via, with, with, with cassette videos trying to put them in the internet, just bad quality things. And people thought, okay, this car is gone. And we found it. 
And to be able to display this car is for European car people more extreme than the GTO. I, I also love the fact that they're all elevated, mm -hmm. so you don't have to like kneel down it to took look me at all four the weeks. details. I put cars on the lifter in the workshop, and I changed centimeter by centimeter the height. So where is the right height for a person smaller or higher that he can enjoy the interior, but has also this appearance of a king? Because if you look at the cars, the cars look like, not like cars, they look like they look special, they look extreme. Because many museums, if you put a car on the floor, I see a car on the floor every day. Yeah. If it's on the ground, my height, some, something's not happening. And another thing is with this, I want to have light from underneath. Yeah. But not underneath, so the car gets lower. But when you're here at night, the, every car looks, they all look like gods. It's like an aura. You're, yeah. you're like really yeah. just showing the aura of the car. So now we're going downstairs. Okay. And I think downstairs is a place that is pretty special. Go ahead. Um, you have these supercars and history cars and winning Le Mans racing cars, okay? And now you go down. Hello. <laughs> so downstairs you have cars from the visitors from the audience in the same museum. So the people on Instagram can vote, it's always two cars against each other, and they can vote who is also in the museum. And then the winner can decide if he wants to stay four weeks or up to six months in the museum. For them to be able to be a yes. part of this museum is... Yes. Oh, and I see my, more of my pictures, I can't believe it. It's just... It, all your pictures here. It, it's crazy because I can tell you such a long a story about every single one of these pictures, you know? I like I shot that in Tokyo, you know? I oh. shot that uh, at, in Indianapolis at Lufka Cult, yeah. you know? I've shot that Formula Drift Long Beach, you know? Ugh. That, of course, Nurburgring, the Nürburgring yeah. with Juan Gittin Jr. Amazing, that, King of the Hammers. Every one has a special story and it just means so much. I'm just so proud of being able to help in this way, you know? Absolutely. It really is amazing. This is so cool. So these are all fan voted cars. Oh. It's like a rolling car show. Yeah, all the time. And this also changes all the time. Right. Sometimes they're only here for four, for four weeks. There you go, Charles Wong, Samsonis, sequential on that no. thing. That thing is just so crazy. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a museum where you can have your own car as a part right. of the display. I like things new. <laughs> yeah. Quite the crowd right now too. This is definitely a treat. This is this doesn't happen that often, right? Like people come eat at the restaurant and then you start oh, with the cars. No, no, oh, no, okay. no, it does. It oh, does. this is but normally common. in the normal process, but we don't have something too loud in the moment doing, so you will not be so entertained. But this will entertain you. This is pretty loud. Yeah. So what was your thought behind this build? When we started that, a manual super didn't exist, so that was the first idea. And then I thought, hmm. The inline six, now V12. I first of all thought putting the Toyota V12 inside, but they're too weak. And I thought, mm -hmm. you know what, let's put a V10. Machst du mir einen Fleischburger? Yeah. Ja. And uh, two pommes? Bacon. 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 You have a secret sauce and everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can get it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. This is, real. This is legit. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. You, you're just, you're just back here hanging out at your restaurant. I love it. Oh my god, it's packed already. Yeah. Oh. I love it. 
love this. Oh, here we go. This is what it's about. Oh. Amazing. So then you have to leave the gate down for sound. We can make 10, we can make 10 poles closed because we got so much air in here. Okay, this is closed. Now turn off the, the pump. Yeah, it opens the door completely by itself. Because it, it's just yeah. Sucks moving so much. so much air. Yeah, right. Got it. And it's a big room. This is cool. I love the design. You put all a bunch of like car parts. Okay, what, what engine is it? Uh, this one? Uh -huh. S SR? Yeah. Yeah. And this? VQ. You're my boy. <laughs> You're my boy. Our guy. <laughs> Look at the peanut gallery. Everybody's like waiting for this. <laughs> this is uh, a very interesting experience. I'm gonna eat a big boost burger while you're not making boost, but you're on the dyno. Well, we will it's make still sound. crazy. Yeah. We will make sound. You wanna sit here? Sure, I don't know. I'll, I'll <laughs> this is just so crazy. It's a real big boost burger, all right. I don't know whose fantasy that was, but that was definitely somebody's fantasy. To eat a burger while there's a car being dynoed right next to you. That was my dream. That's why I did it. And the most important thing for me was that it's for free. That you can be here and can experience that. Because when I was a kid, for me it was the best experience to get a brochure of a car. But to, and I got a lot of kids who are maybe in the same position as me to give them that, to just come here, and nobody of the employees would ever bother him, uh, why, why are you here? They can be here and sit on the floor for eight hours, and sometimes they do this, and just be here, and I'm absolutely fine, and I love this. And then, so, part of it is that this is legitimately your dyno. Like, this is what you use to yeah, actually yeah. work on the cars, 100%. and then when it's crunch time for some show, or something, you guys are back and forth across the buildings, mm -hmm. getting the car ready, mm -hmm. dyno tuning. Or well, sometimes, sometimes shit happens and we got holes in the roof. <laughs> what happened there? Uh, money uh, was on the dyno uh, with, a, with a car from us and it had a little too much power and the tire blew. Oh. And uh, this is why we keep also these parts in here. And it was really a huge explosion, and we got a hole in the roof, and everything was really boom. <laughs> but also, this happens. But, no, but nobody that, said it was easy. Yeah, because <laughs> this is not for display. No, this is legitimately what you use. In the summertime, it's in use every day, for for me or for customers. Amazing. Yeah. Because when do you get to see a car go full throttle? Full yeah, and flames. For example, we had, we had flames going through the floor, up the roof. You know, it's, it's these long dragon flames, you know? Yeah. They go out and they, the, the picture's so extreme. For example, come here. <laughs> we, we, cleaned them, we cleaned them before, but look at this. No, no, no they're clean again. But it, but it gets glass, soot. Yes. a lot of soot on here. Extreme. <laughs> they look, they're dead. <laughs> so the flames comes out and go, and go up. Amazing. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Look at, look at, everybody's so happy yeah. <laughs> to be here and to watch. It's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, I would, I would be, I would love, 
I, I tell you very honestly, I would love to have this place in LA, of course. And, and to be in the same position and, and the people are coming and having a good time and have good food and can, can enjoy time. And um, of course, it, it would be a dream for me. I mean, you know that. I'm there six, seven times a year in LA. So it is, for me, my second home, for sure. Well, we love having you in LA, that's for sure. Dude, thank you so much for no, having I, me. I have to say it's thank just, you. It's just incredible. It's just what, it, it's, it makes no sense at all. And that's kind of what's cool about it. You know, it's <laughs> one man's dream. Yeah. And I'm glad it was your dream because this is just such a cool place to be. It really is, yeah. Thank you thank very you. much, Larry. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. See you in a few days, bye-bye. So now we go uh, through this door over there, sure. and then we have to be careful what we film. Okay. No way. You've been to the Nordstrom Nord yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, of course. And you've been to the Nissan store before. Yes. Yeah. So this, this is the original Nordschleife in parts that was on the floor. No way. From the Nissan store. So, so Remember this, that. You know, this, this means so much to me because I went to Japan to watch them release this car. Yeah. I watched them release this car, and they played the, the first thing they did was play this video. You have the whole Not sure. <laughs> and, it's, and it's like this as, as a size, as a, from a room, what? and this will be in the new building that we are building, but will be released in two and a half years, so, so much time it will take, and it will be also part of this building. Yeah. That is so cool. What's the scale of this? It's huge. Trust you, me, it's not, you, it's, not, it's not even all the parts, it's really huge. How did you get this? Over a friend, and a Nissan dealer, he's the biggest Nissan dealer, and he sells the most GTRs in Europe, and he got it from them, but he found out this is way too big for his shop. So in, it was in his shop, also in the back, and I said, you know what, I can handle how it. How many meters by how many meters is it? More than 10 by 10. It's huge, it's really so, so then, where was this displayed? In, in on the Nordschleife, in the Nissan, Got in the separate, it. On the, it was the Got whole it. floor of the Nissan shop. Right, so then, but, but since they changed or exactly. phased out, exactly. they, it they was figured this is, this is trash. Right, 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 right. But it's funny because something like this is not, what is it to somebody, but f to you, it's so historic and it's just so special. Super extreme. The first time I was there, I was still not really a successful guy. And I, and I remember myself, it was glass on top of it. You were able to walk over the Nordschleife on, on glass. Yeah. And I remember I looked at it like this, and you turn the corner here, and to have it now here in the museum on the floor and waiting to be displayed again. These are things for me that blow my mind. 